Okay, so I'm getting ready to cook. I'm going to cook um, a half picnic, half fresh picnic. Uh, it's pretty much a pork roast with the bone in and some pork sirloin cutlets. And what I'm going to do now is clean it. First, what, we, what I do to clean it is I remove the fat off of it, as much fat as I want to, so there's not too much oil. I have my gloves here to help me clean because I don't like the smell of meat on my hand. And some of the seasons and I'm, seasonings I'm going to use are oregano, Worcestershire sauce. I have broth over here as well as garlic powder. Cayenne pepper for a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a bite. Season salt. Most of the seasoning I received from either Walmart or Publix. A meat tenderizer. Um, some robust steak, and this one's from Wendy Dixie. Ground black pepper. And you don't have to have fancy seasoning, just whatever you like, whatever's going to do the job. Some chicken bouillon cube. Bay leaves. And a brown sugar mix. I may not use too much of this because of the other seasonings that I have. And I also have the Trinity, of course. Well, it's going to be more than the Trinity. It's going to have red peppers and green peppers. Um, and I think it has celery as well as onions. So first we'll get started with the whole cleaning process. I'm going to pop my gloves on. And I typically clean with vinegar or lemon. Today I have distilled vinegar, the white vinegar. And what I'm going to do is just remove some of the fat off of here and get me a bowl so that I can put this meat in so that when I get ready to rinse it, it will be no problem. So this is a pretty good cut of meat. I'm going to take this skin off because I'm not big on having skin on my meat. I'm going to probably leave some of it on because most likely it's going to fall off because I'm cooking it in a crock pot. I'm going to slow cook it for the next, well, or high for the next five hours or so. And it shouldn't take long to, um, to cook on high, especially if you leave it covered and don't really mess with it. Now, I'm not going to take too much of the skin off. Because I'm realizing that I'll probably need some of the skin on to make sure that the, the meat that's on the inside stays juicy and it becomes tender. So, let's see. So, I'll probably just leave the rest of this. No, I think I'm going to take off this dark fleshy area. And if your knife's not working for you, I have shears as well that you can always use the shears to cut it. And that's going to be the best thing. Yep, there you go. I've already sanitized my um, sink with some bleach and hot water and rinsed it several times. And I'll probably do the same afterwards. come back to you guys. I'm going to pause it for now and then I'll come back once it's all um, clean and I'll show you my rinsing process. 
Okay, so now I pretty much have the picnic roast already done as far as trimming the fat off of it. I'm trimming the fat off of the cutlets and I'm using my shears for that because it's a lot quicker. Um, I'm going to cut this one in half because it's pretty big. And then that part is done. So the next thing you're going to see is me cleaning the meat or rinsing it off with some distilled vinegar. You can either use that or you can use um, some lemon. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm about to rinse the cutlets off. I have the water running and I'm about to pour the vinegar. This is the vinegar right there. And you don't need to cover it. just needs to have you know, a good amount of it in there. And I usually rub it in. I'll take my knife usually and what I say is I kill it again. I stab it, pierce it, so that the seasoning can get into it. And I rub it, rub it really well, all parts of the meat. Make sure you get every piece and then I'll rinse it. You want to rinse it very good and several times to make sure that you are getting that vinegar taste and smell out of it. Depending on how strong the meat smells to me, I'll do it twice. Do the vinegar twice or do a vinegar and a lemon um, rinse or wash. And it's just up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to do the same thing to the picnic roll. See, I usually wait for the water to be kind of clear. Where you don't see any pinkness or redness from um, the blood of the meat, from the meat or anything like that. So I'm going to do the same thing to my roast. You won't see that, but I'll do that. Okay, so I've done the same thing with my roast. You can hopefully see that the color is a little dull. Oh, well, not for not when I first opened it from the package, just because I rinsed it with the vinegar and the warm water. So now what we're going to do is the seasoning process. Okay, so I'm going to start the seasoning process. I have one bay leaf in there already. I'm going to add two more. Um, I'm going to add some of the robust seasoning. I typically don't season um, my meat with salt because something my mom told me, salt tends to toughen up your meat. So it should be something that you do pretty much last. And usually if you have enough of other seasonings, you don't necessarily need salt. So I'm putting right now the cayenne pepper, oregano, and I like my food to be covered with seasoning just about. Meat tenderizer. Season salt. I think I might have done this, but that's okay. Black pepper, garlic pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and some of that brown sugar bourbon marinade that I showed you from Grill Mates. Even though we're not grilling this, still, this is. Something good to have, and then of course my bouillon cube. I'm only putting half of that bouillon cube in there, so I'm gonna rub this because I went on just about every piece of meat as possible. Get it in these cracks and this picnic rolls. And typically what I'm probably going to do is let this sit for about 30 minutes just as it is. Put the top on to this crock pot um, and then just let it sit for about 30 minutes before I turn the crock pot on so that the marinade can get really into the meat as much as possible. 
And I'm going to add a little bit of stock, not too much, probably to about, um, let's see, this is the bottom, this is the side, probably to about right here. So maybe about a, an inch or so of stock. I'm not going to put any type of liquids in here um, because any type of oils or, or butters or margarine because um, the fat that's already in the meat is going to provide enough. So here's that Trinity onion mix. And this is awesome because you don't have to necessarily cut onions. You don't have to deal with that whole crying and watery eyes. So put that in there. And I can pretty much smell that this is pretty much seasoned well. I may add some seasoning. Um, as I go through it or once I add the broth or, or water because sometimes that takes away from your seasoning so that's pretty much it I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 or so minutes let it get in there really well one of the things you can pour on here if you clean every bit of fat off which I didn't is probably some olive oil some extra virgin olive oil some soy oil or safflower oil so this is it for right now. I'll come back um, once I add the broth, once it's marinated, and add the broth and put it on the crock pot for about, we'll guess about maybe four and a half or so hours. Okay, it is about 30 minutes later. I flipped my meat um, halfway through. So at the 15 minute mark, I flipped the meat so that the other side can be pretty much resting on the bottom of the pot. and. Um, be able to take in some of that marinade. So now that the 30 minutes have passed, I'm going to put the lid on there. I've set it on high and I'm going to um, probably flip it halfway through within the next hour, hour and a half and then um, maybe flip it again after that depending on the cooking process and how well it's doing. So you'll see the end result.